So, here's a graph of solar panel voltage versus solar panel current. Uh, the voltage is V volts and the current is I amps. And uh, also, we know that uh, power equals volts times amps. So, what does this graph mean? Incidentally, this graph is for a solar panel which has full sun on it. Um, if it had anything less than full sun, then it would just be a, a line within this line here. Um, because I've not actually written any scale on this, any numbers, it, uh, it works actually for any solar panel. So let's look at um, some of the points on this graph. Let's look at this one down here. This is the maximum number of volts that this panel is ever going to produce down here, but no amps. You can see that on the current scale, no amps at all. And that point represents a solar panel which is open circuit. So it's supplying, well there's plenty of potential difference there, but there are no amps flowing around the circuit because there isn't a circuit because it's open, and so that's this point down here. Now similarly, up here, we've got um, the maximum number of amps that the solar panel can ever generate, but no volts. And that's when you short circuit the solar panel. So if you put a dead short across the output terminals, you're going to get the maximum current flowing, but no volts. Now in both of these cases, because power is volts times amps, if one of the numbers is naught, zero, then of course the power is going to be zero. So an open circuit solar panel with no amps flowing will have no power. A short circuit solar panel with plenty of amps but no volts, again, there's no power. So if you want power from a solar panel, we need to be out in this part of the graph where there are both volts and amps. Now when we connected the 21 watt bulb directly to the 20 watt solar panel, we had um, a possible maximum voltage from the solar panel of about 20 volts. The solar panel actually said on the back of it that its operating preferred operating point was 18 volts, which would be about here, but we were only getting 6 volts. We were way back here. And this is why we weren't getting the maximum power, 20 watts, out of the solar panel. And the solar panel will only provide maximum power if the load conditions are absolutely right. Solar panels are very, very fussy. So we need to be right on the knee of this curve here in order to get 20 watts out of that solar panel. So let's make a list of some of these numbers. On the solar panel, we had for the working voltage 18 volts. And we also had written on that label on the back uh, 1.05 amps. So if we multiply 18 by 1.05, we get 18.9 watts. Now that comes in a bit low. Um, if we wanted to get the full 20 watts, we'd need uh, either a little bit more current or a little bit more voltage. OK, now let's look at the light bulb. This is a 12 volt bulb. Um, now these bulbs are designed to go a little bit higher than that because when the alternator is running it could uh, be as high as 14, 14 and a half volts. But let's go with 12 for the moment, that would be the typical voltage when the engine's not running. Now we don't have a figure for amps at the moment, so let's work that out. It's a 20 watt bulb, divide by 12 volts gives us 1.666666 amps. So let's... Uh, actually it's a 21 watt. Sorry. Let's do it again. Uh, 21 divided by 12. 1.75. That's more like it. 1.75 amps. Uh, and of course the wattage is 21 watts. So, you can see that um, in order to get the solar panel to operate at its working uh, power, its uh, maximum power, 
we'd need to take 18 volts on the solar panel and step it down to 12 volts but at the same time we'd need to take about an amp just over an amp, 1.05 amps and step it up to 1.75 amps so we need a converter, we need something that's going to transform voltage down and transform current up now I've added something else to this list and that is resistance values because we've got fixed voltage and current values for both the solar panel and the light bulb we can actually calculate the resistances of these two devices and this is where you can see the large mismatch between them for the solar panel I've calculated 17.2 ohms and for the light bulb 6.9 ohms and there's a theorem called the maximum power transfer theorem uh, otherwise called Jacobi's law and it states that for maximum power transfer from a source generator to a load you have to have the resistance of each the same and uh, clearly here the resistances are not the same and that's why we're not getting maximum power transfer